Hi everyone. So now we will talk about Laravel file and folder structure and first of all we will talk about files and folders which are very important for learning Laravel. Why? See whenever we are creating any Laravel project lots of files and folders are getting created and it's uh, almost impossible to talk about each and every file and folder in a single parts. So that's why we can talk about the files which are very important for learning Laravel first. All right. After that, uh, I'll tell you where we can create MVC files, means where we can create model, view, and controller. And then we'll talk about basic things about each and every folder. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview questions also. So now let's move on the uh, project. And first of all, let's go with the composer.json file. So in this file, we have all details, uh, all project details, as well as all dependency details of our project. Uh, project details like project name, which uh, PHP version, which Laravel version we are using in this project and other things like uh, uh, which files are getting auto loaded and all right. Similarly, it has the dependency details also. What is the dependency means? I'll just tell you in a moment. But here you can see that these are the dependencies of our Laravel framework as well as our project. So let's say if you are installing some other dependencies, they are also getting listed there. Dependencies means whenever we are uh, using any project it it could be cake php uh coordinator or uh, laravel each project internally use some libraries right and these are the dependencies or sometimes we need to uh install some external libraries also maybe for example if you want to uh create pdf or excel files in your uh, project right that time maybe you will uh, prefer to use some external library to so that you can do the things easily and quickly so these are the external library we can also uh, install in our project and that will they will be listed there all right so the next thing which is important which is a vendor folder see in a vendor folder we have the all libraries stored which are mentioned there so all uh, all dependencies which are mentioned there are stored inside the vendor folder but you will find that like we have only five or six, six dependencies for now but there are lots of folder reason being there are lots of other libraries also which Laravel use internally. So they are also stored inside this folder. After that, we can talk about app folder. So here you can see that this is the core code of our application. We just write our model, controller, and service provider and middleware things inside this app folder, right? Uh, here you can see that inside the HTTP, we have the controller. This is the model file. There are some uh, providers also. Right, so we just write all of these things inside this app uh, uh, folder. Now, maybe you already about uh, aware about models and controllers because in last part we talked about them, but maybe you are not aware about middlewares and service controllers. See, in single part we cannot discuss each and everything, but in the definitely in the upcoming part I'll uh, explain each and everything. Right, but you can say that for a moment in the app folder we are putting the core core code of our application. Right. So the next thing is uh, resources. Inside the resources, uh, we can put CSS. If we are using some JS, we can also put that. And there we can also put the views, like the files which are directly visible to the user. Like uh, if you are just creating file for home.js, uh, uh, home.php, about.php, welcome.php, the all view things are stored inside this resource folders. All right. The next important thing is routes. So in the web.php inside this routes folder, we basically declare the all routes. For example, you have some pages, uh, let's say user page, about page, home page, create uh, user account, page, login and other page. So on which URL you want to open these pages are uh, mentioned in this file, right? So we have to just write all of that code inside this file. You can also talk about console.php. This is not much important for beginners but this is basically used for uh, command line and terminal purpose for a moment you can say that all right okay so the next thing is uh, config.js right so in laravel we have the flexibility for lots of configuration we, you can just do configuration for your application authorization caching database logging file system maybe you are not aware about all of these terms but we'll discuss in the upcoming part so uh, all configuration related files are present in this configuration folder. Now then the database. In database, uh, we 
whenever we are working with the database we just don't uh, write the code to uh, get uh, the data or save the data right there are lots of other things to do in the framework like we sometimes we can use factories migrations seedings so i'm i'm sure maybe you are not aware about all of these things but uh, again the same thing in the upcoming part we'll talk about this so all related to the database things are stored inside this except database configuration configuration is stored inside this uh, database.php inside the configuration folder right in public so here you can see that ph index.php file so this is the first file which we execute whenever you are loading your laravel project for example if you are visiting any website which internally that is using laravel so index.php is the first file which is getting executed after that it will go to the controllers route views models and other files so but this public index.php is the first file which executed there are lots of other things also like uh, favicon icon favicon icon means the icon which is visual for your site like on the browser all right next thing is uh, robots.txt this is basically used for uh, uh, search engine optimization so this is not much related to the uh, you can say that laravel the next thing is stxs so if you want to just change some server level configuration then you can do that there all right so the next thing is storage so inside storage so let's say you are using some uh, libraries to create the files maybe you are creating excel pdf uh, this kind of files in your project so they all are by default stored inside this storage folder and uh, caching related things are also getting stored there logs logs means whenever you are working any website and you think maybe there can be some error so you just write some code to capture that errors right we basically do with that mature and good pro uh, projects so that uh, code like what is the error and where is the error are all things are stored inside this logs folder after that test so one testing uh, is done by the testers but there is a one more type of testing maybe we'll talk about in the upcoming parts which is uh, unit testing and all so that is done by the developers and all test cases and the output and everything is written in this test folder so after that uh, editor configuration this is related to your editor env this is the environment file and this is you can say that very secret and private file there we can put some password and encrypted and decrypted key also env.example.php so if you just by mistake you just change en in env file and uh, you are not sure like uh, what was the change then you can copy that thing from the example file so this is just for reference right next these two are the git files which is not much important and after that we have the uh, yeah let's talk about php unit.xml so this file is basically uh, used uh, with the unit testing right php unit is basically used for that wait.config.js so whenever we are working with the any ui uh, framework maybe with the react next or uh, with the view that time wait.config.js is actually create a local deployment server right uh, so maybe you are not aware about that then you can leave it for thing but you can say that this is used for creating a local deployment server for now after that there is a one more file which is composer.log which is seems very similar to the composer.js in composer.log uh, we have the more details about the dependencies for example if you are using one library and this library internally using some other libraries so this file have the all hierarchical tree structure details all right so i hope we covered everything uh yeah we i think we covered everything in this right so that's all for this part yeah interview question one thing they can ask like uh, where we can create uh, mvc files right so you can say that we can use in the we can create the model and view inside the app and we can create our view inside the resource uh, in the resources and view files right second thing they can ask for the purpose of env file where you can do the database configuration you can tell inside the config and there is a database.php file after that they can ask about the composer.json file also and again they can ask like how you will check which version and which lara which php and laravel version you are using how you can check in your project so you can say that we can check it with the composer.json so that's all for this part if you still have any confusion any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thanks guys thanks thank you so much